in a contemporary society where an individual's ideal self is heavily influenced by pop culture and media, it is easy to understand why some women define beauty as being slim and hairless. Society's definition of beauty is extremely problematic because this ideal prototype can only be achieved in a specific cohort of women who have the biological framework. I was diagnosed with PCOS at 12. In the years to follow, I suffered from irregular periods, weight gain, and a lot of body hair. I have always tried to remain a relatively healthy lifestyle. However, I constantly struggle with my weight and have suffered from anxiety and depression in university. There are many biases women with PCOS face, and without a proper understanding of PCOS and its implications, there is a societal gap in sensitivity that cannot be easily bridged. So, what is polycystic ovarian syndrome? PCOS is caused by an hormonal imbalance within the female body, which can lead to a variety of both internal and external symptoms. While the disorder is not completely understood, there is a general agreement among physicians that two of the following three symptoms must be present in order to diagnose PCOS. The first one is menstrual irregularity which involves an irregular or absent period which can lead to difficulty getting pregnant. Secondly, increased levels of testosterone, which is associated with the excess body hair, facial hair, and acne present among women with PCOS. Thirdly, polycystic ovaries, the abnormal presence of cysts in the ovaries which can increase risk for uterine cancer. These symptoms can be accompanied by diabetes, obesity, and heart disease. Currently, there is no cure for PCOS, but you can manage the PCOS symptoms through different therapeutic methods. Normally, symptoms of PCOS will resolve themselves once a woman is nearing menopause. Studies have suggested that PCOS may have a large genetic component as reports demonstrate that PCOS is more prevalent within family clusters rather than the general population. Furthermore, in a study by Ligro et al, which investigated PCOS outcomes in 80 mothers found that 22% of daughters tested positive for PCOS. Increased androgen levels, a hallmark symptom for PCOS, was not exclusive to daughters, but was also seen in sons of these 80 mothers. While this suggests a strong genetic predisposition for PCOS, a clear linkage of specific genes associated with this condition is unclear. Genes that are relevant for PCOS are also associated with other genetic disorders and thus, determining the degree to which these genes contribute to PCOS poses difficulty. Genetics or not, women come in all shapes and sizes. They each have their own unique characteristics. All women are beautiful and for those with PCOS, you should not view this as a liability, but as an asset which defines your uniqueness. Be comfortable in your own skin. Be you. For information about the pathophysiology of PCOS, please be sure to check out part 2 on the Demystifying Medicine channel. Thank you for watching!